Hi there. Let's get started with creating our first program with Atmega32. And uh, as you might have known about it, in any programming language, when we are starting to learn that particular programming, the very first code that we do is called as a Hello World program. A Hello World program basically is a piece of code which can print something onto the screen. So when you do it in C, when you do it in Java or in Python, that's the kind of program that you do when you are starting out. With respect to embedded systems or primarily with respect to microcontrollers, the Hello World program is usually turning an LED on and off connected to the port pin of your microcontroller. So let's try to see how we can create our first program with Atmega32. Now let me clear the canvas and let me give you some background over here. So you have seen and you have known so far that we have an IC which has got 8 pins. I will not follow the actual pin out because it is already there in the presentation and in the data sheet. So just I will tell that here we have port C, here we have port A, port B and port D. Now what I want to do is I want to connect an LED let's say to a single pin of a particular port and then I want to turn it on and off. Now before we do any such thing first of all let us understand one thing that the Atmega32 is an AVR series controller which works on plus 5 volt. It means the logic sorry logic high or logic 1 is 5 volt and logic 0 means 0 volt. Whenever you are going to use the microcontroller, you can generate either 5 volt or 0 volt onto any pin of this microcontroller. So even if it is having all the 32 pins, then all the 32 pins can be made either high or they can be made low. Based upon that, you can connect external devices like LEDs or relays or buzzers and they can be made high or low as well. This is when you are trying to generate output. The same voltage levels apply when you are trying to give some input externally or from external world to the controller. Your input should not be more than 5 volt and should not be less than 0 volt. Now, Let's understand how the output and input works with the ports of Atmega32. Consider I have this port, let's say port B. With every port in AVR controllers, we have three resistors associated with it. First resistor is called as DDR, which is a data direction resistor. Second resistor is called as port third resistor is called as pin. This is very important and please pay close attention to it. As I said with every resistor we have three such or with every port we have three such resistors available inside the controller. So all in all we have four ports. So we will have three for each a total of 12 resistors like this internally. How these resistors work and what is their function? Let's look at it closely. DDR stands for Data Direction Resistor. Whenever you want to use a particular port or a particular pin of the port, you will have to specify its direction, whether you want to use it as output or whether you want to use it as input in this particular resistor in DDR. Port is output right resistor. It means when you have mentioned, when you have specified a particular port to work as output port, then writing 1 or 0 onto that port is done using the port resistor. So for port B, what resistor we have? We will have DDRB, which will set the data direction, and we will have port B. This is the name of resistor. 
where we will write the value to be returned onto the port pins. Similarly, we have a pin register which is used while reading the status of port pin. So when you want to read from port, you have pin register. When you have to write onto the port, you have port register. And before doing the read or write, you need to specify the direction of your port using the DDR register. This picture will uh, clarify it a little bit. So as said, each port has three related registers. So for port D, we will have DDR D, port D and pin D. Port pins are set as input when you want to read the data and set as output when you want to use them as out as I said. So let's see how they work. So this is how the port, DDR and pin registers are related with each other. There is a bitwise bit to bit relation. Now what is this bitwise relation? To understand this, let me, uh, let me take up the pin out once again so that we can understand it better with respect to the pin out. So say this is the pin out of Atmega32 and I want to connect an LED to port B0. So let's say I want to do this kind of connection, a resistor, then an LED and then connect the LED pin to ground. And I want to make this pin go high and I want to make this pin go low. Now to do that what we need to do is the DDRB. Is an 8-bit register so it will have eight different fields into it like that and uh, the bit location of the register this is bit number 7 and this is bit number 0 so if you want to set the 0th pin of port B as output then you will have to write down 1 in the 0th bit of DDRB. I repeat, if you want to use the 0th pin of port B as output, you will have to write down 1 in the 0th bit of DDRB register. Similarly, for output, you write 1 and for input, you have to write down 0 in the respective bits of DDR register. This relation goes like this. So whenever you want to use, let's say, uh, pin number 4 of port B to work as output port, then you need to specify 1 in the DDRB register. Or when you want to use this particular pin as an input pin, then you want to specify 0 in bit number D6 to make it as input pin. Similar thing will go when we want to read from the port. So when we want to read, we will read pin B register. And the individual bits of the pin B register will give us the status of that particular port pin. This thing will get more clearer with a direct example. So let's try to see that with an example. 